This is the answer and discussion on interactive case number two on this 12-year-old male patient. The CT scan without intravenous contrast administration demonstrates a very heterogeneous and sizable lesion in the right posterior fossa. The lesion displaces the surrounding soft tissues uh, and compresses the fourth ventricle. Although hydrocephalus would be expected, there is a ventricular shunt that decompressed uh, the previously known hydrocephalus. The abnormality itself has areas that are very dense, consistent with calcifications. They are very similar to bone. Other areas that are similar to adjacent brain parenchyma, denoting that they are soft tissue components. And other areas that are very low in density, very close to that of the density of CSF, consistent with cystic components. Now, when you see a posterior fossa mass, the differential diagnosis depends on whether you're looking at an adult patient or a pediatric age group. In pediatric age groups, the major differential diagnosis list includes pilocytic astrocytoma, medulloblastoma, ependymoma, and don't forget a brainstem glioma. In adults, the two major considerations would be metastasis, especially if a primary is known, and hemangioblastoma, which is highly associated with von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. This is a 12-year-old patient, so we're going to ignore the adult differential and look at the pediatrics possibilities. If you have a lesion that's very heterogeneous with cystic components, this would be highly suggestive of a pilocytic astrocytoma at this age group. The classic appearance of a pilocytic astrocytoma would be a large cyst with a mural nodule that enhances after intravenous contrast administration. Now, pilocytic astrocytoma could have various appearances that are homogeneous or heterogeneous, with areas that are cystic, soft tissue, enhancing, calcific, and in that way, they overlap sometimes with the other differential diagnosis. Medulloblastoma is an entity that is seen also in pediatrics, but usually the age group is younger. So if the pilocytic astrocytoma age is around 10 years old, medulloblastoma's age is around 5 years old. Medulloblastomas are more commonly homogeneous, have more solid components, and they're classically very similar, so the solid components would appear spontaneously hyperdense without contrast. They're more commonly midline compared to pilocytic astrocytomas, which could be midline or off midline. Now, ependymomas usually arise within the fourth ventricle. They expand the fourth ventricle or confirm to the shape of the fourth ventricle, and they may extend through the form of Lushka and Majimdi. Here's the same patient after intravenous contrast enhancement, showing areas that are enhancing within the tumor and a suspicion of enhancement within the soft tissue components that are more peripherally located. Now, although enhancement is not as obvious as expected, sometimes if you do an MRI, these areas would enhance more clearly. This patient went for surgical resection, and the final diagnosis was indeed a pilocytic astrocytoma. The commonest location of a pilocytic astrocytoma in a pediatric age group is in the posterior fossa. The first question is, what is the second most common location of pilocytic astrocytomas? The second question is, which syndrome is pilocytic astrocytoma classically associated with? You could leave your answers in the comment section below. See you later with the next case. So please join in by commenting below. Give us your thought on the findings, the approach, and the differential diagnosis. And also help us by sharing, subscribing, or liking our videos. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, or Instagram.